Hi, it's me again. Today I'm uh, breaking some oversize. This is too big to take away or do anything with, so uh, I've got to bust it up. I'm going to use some chemical cracking agent in this one. And I may even do some of the smaller ones as well. And then I've got some rock down there to drill in a pit. I'll take in a look at that. So this um, property's been carved up for a few house blocks. The drainage is going in. And there's uh, just one pit hole here they couldn't uh, get in. Bit of really, really hard Rio Dose site there. They gave it their best shot with a big machine and a breaker. And they got some of it. And um, the breaker wasn't looking too good, so they quit. So I'm going to drill some holes in that today. And we're going to blast it in a few days' time. Cheers. Okay, about an hour and a half or so has passed since I started drilling. I've got all my holes drilled. They're all between about 550 and 700 mils deep. Uh, a few extra holes too. And uh, nearly ready to go. I've got my uh, battery drill stirrer, my eye and lung protection, hand protection, the expando, thanks John, and a bucket of water. So let's do it.
Whoops, too much. It's a little bit thin, but I think it'll be all right. Better too thin than too thick. That'll do it. Wow, they sure give this uh, rock a bit of a hammer massage with the breaker. I knew it would be like this, so I wet it first before I blew it down to clean it off because it would just be clouds and clouds of dust going everywhere otherwise. Gee, I would love to see the point on that breaker. This is Calorama Rio Dosite, which is really hard stuff, and it wrecks breakers real quick. It's very similar to the Fernie Creek Rio Dosite. Um, the main difference, and how you tell the difference, because it looks the same, is that the um, Fernie Creek Rio Dosite breaks pretty straight, whereas this stuff always sort of breaks ripply. And that's about the only difference. Alright, I'll mark out some holes on here and start drilling. I'm going to guess where the centre of the pit is, because no one's told me. It, that's all I can do. After lunch, uh, drilled me holes. There's 14 holes there. That should be plenty. So uh, I'm going home. See ya. So a few days have passed. So I'm back at uh, Lilydale to come and check out this rock I put the cracking goo in. Oh. Looks pretty good. Yeah, it's very good. Yeah, wow. Oh, look at that. That's pretty amazing. Yeah, that's fairly conclusively broken, isn't it? Oh, interesting, it's broken across there too. Must have been some sort of uh, floor in there. Wow.
Good eye. I'm happy with that. Good morning, I'm back at Lilydale. Just going to uh, blow this piece of rock so that that concrete pit can go in the hole. And uh, I've just blown the water out of the holes and most of it went straight up and straight down on my head, which is pretty normal. So we'll just put the medicine in the holes and hook it up. Jared will cover it with his excavator here. We'll make a bang and then dig it all out. You know the story. Alrighty, shot's all loaded, bit of a mess, and we're about to uh, spade some cover onto it gently for the first bit. their hole for the pit. Excellent.